Historian Dr Jennifer Doyle is here with my results, which means this is either my big Irish reveal or a very awkward plot twist. What do you think you are before we start? Um, I mean, I would just say half Irish, half English. OK, let's have a look. Oh, wow. OK, 56% Irish. So then that means that my dad must have been a bit Irish as well. Yeah. It's roughly in line with your dad having an Irish great-grandparent. Oh, man, I wish my dad was still alive. He would have loved this. Because he always felt like the Englishman whenever he came to Ireland, but he was Irish he had too. Irish. He had an Irish great-grandmother. Amazing. But if we're blaming anyone for my red hair, I reckon my mum's DNA has got some explaining to do. Oh my gosh, look how small that circle is. <gasps> no! Yeah. So your mother, 100% Irish. And solidly Tullamore. OK. We've gone back uh, three generations, sometimes four generations, on your mother's family. And right. they're all just extremely Tullamore. This kind of super concentrated DNA is more often found on tiny, isolated islands where people have little choice but to stay put. What I find extraordinary about this is this is sort of telling you just how rural, rural Ireland was yeah. until very recently. Very recently. In Ireland, before the invention of the bicycle, people moved no more than six to ten miles during their lifetime. Wow. And they found marriage partners in that area. And some of them are on the land for a very long time. They're on the same plots of land. Jennifer's found public records that show my family were farming in Tullamore at least as far back as 1825. Here we have Tom, Gary. Yeah. Your great-great-great-grandfather. 